Uh, this morning, it was terrible this morning. I will admit that. Looking at the numbers this morning, take a look at this, guys. This morning, we were at 16 in South Bend. Temperatures in Crawfordsville, 19. Rushville, 21. So near a record for Indy. Indy this morning started your morning at 22. The record was at 20. So it was such a cold start to your day. So we've come a long way. We're at 46 degrees. That's still below average for this time of year, but it's better than yesterday. 48 for South Bend, about 52 for Evansville. Temperatures remain. Uh, overall, I would say cool but comfortable. Mostly sunny skies outside, and as we look live in Carmel right now, Carmel, of course, uh, enjoying sunshine throughout the day. A little further north, so you got in on more sunshine throughout the day than we had here in Indy. A few clouds at times, but overall looking good. Hour by hour forecast for you tonight. Temperatures in the 40s, falling to the 30s late tonight. We'll still deal with a chilly night once again. Not as cold as last night, but still chilly, and we see a bit of a warming trend in the forecast. Okay, there's still some issues out there. The issues with the free warning. Same areas, areas in the southern third of the state dealing with freeze warnings until 9 a.m. on Saturday as we deal with, of course, the possibility of patchy frost. Doesn't matter where you are in the state, I'll say it again tonight, cover those plants, bring sensitive vegetation indoors if you can because the temperatures are so cold to start, it makes it feel so much better and you're so much more excited once we get into the afternoon hours. Tomorrow we'll make it to the 60s. This is above average. This is good, right? So tomorrow is not the warmest day that we see in this forecast, but it's the first day that you really get to enjoy a nice spring-like day without the chill. 63 by afternoon in Indy, 63 South Bend, about 64 in Evansville. These temperatures, they will continue to warm into Sunday. Maybe you have big plans for Easter Sunday. If so, I think you're going to like this forecast. Maybe your plans tomorrow include a little March Madness uh, uh, downtown or around town. Temperatures in the 60s for you fall into the 50s. It's a nice day. You'll have that sunshine until sunset at around 810. And here we go with Easter Sunday. 70 degrees, beautiful weather for you and the family to enjoy Easter Sunday. So mostly sunny and dry there. But what about the dry weather? How long will it stick around? Take a look at this. We're going to have a dry stretch of weather through about Tuesday. Rain chance is very low on Monday. Tuesday night will increase the chance of rain. And then to Chapman Heat and Cooling 8-day forecast, you'll notice the trend here. Temperatures warming up. By Tuesday into Wednesday, there. I have 75 on Tuesday. That's a modest approach. Temperatures could be in the mid to upper 70s on Tuesday before a cold front arrives, bringing a cool down and rain to end the work week.